In this video, I'll show you a simple and free way to format your book with Reezy. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I built a multiple six figure KDP business, which I eventually sold for $820,000. And now I'm building my second KDP account. So in this channel, I try to just, you know, be open with how much I'm making from my KDP account uh, and what exactly am I doing to get these kind of results. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. And if you would like a completely free training on how I built my KDP business to this level, then check out the link in the description below. All right, so in this video, I'll show you how you can format your book for Amazon KDP, both for ebook and paperback for free with a website called Reezy. So this is actually pretty helpful. Now this is a, once again, a very simple and a free way. So the final look will be also simple. You know, it'll get the job done. It's not going to be absolutely amazing. Like if you would have, you know, gotten it done uh, from a professional, but if you're okay with a simple look, then this will be good enough. What you can do is try and format it following this video once and then you know decide if you like the look or if you don't like it, then I will give you an option on how you can outsource it as well. So the very first thing you wanna do is have your book in Google Doc, uh, or you can do this in Microsoft Word as well because in the end, we need a docx file. However, a lot of people probably write their uh, book in Google Docs, so I'll give you a tutorial on how to do that. So the first thing is you need to format your book on Google Doc. The most important thing here is to format uh, the headings properly. So you don't want to just have, you know, the title uh, as a normal text like this, and you don't want to just bold and make it bigger by changing the size. That's not how you want to do it. What you want to do is to properly actually format this and uh, identify it as a title. Okay. And then from there, once it is categorized in terms of the style as a title, then you can put bold, change the size, you know, kind of customize the look. Uh, from there same as the subtitle here make sure you mark it here as subtitle okay and then make sure to add page breaks so you can insert break page break and by doing so it'll create a page and it'll tell the google doc that the page ends here okay it'll add these spaces and then the next text starts from the next page you don't want to just do this where you're just adding spaces uh, to create the next page because when you actually um, import this then it will not recognize these extra spaces so instead once your page ends go to insert break add a page break okay that's what you want to do and then from here you can you know remove the spacing a little bit uh, but the next thing you want to do is every single chapter heading uh, must be heading one so you can see on the left hand side here there's an outline of the book. So how do you create this? Well, you want to properly mark your text as heading one, heading two, heading three. So heading one is for chapter titles. So you can see that this introduction is my chapter title. So I have it marked as heading one. Okay. So it's the exact same concept here. First, it'll show up as normal text when you're writing the book. What you do not want to do is just change the size, make it bold to make it look like it is a chapter title. Okay. That's not what you want. Instead, you want to mark it as heading one. And from here, if you don't like this size, you can make it bigger, but the main thing is the style is marked as heading one, okay? From there, you know, for, let's say you want like a sub chapter or a sub chapter heading, then you can do heading two for that, or even if it's like a sub sub chapter, then you can do heading three, but that's personal preference, uh, whether you wanna use heading two or heading three. The main thing is the chapter titles being heading one, okay? Because that'll be transferred when you upload it to Reezy. So you wanna uh, format your book uh, just like that throughout, make sure the chapter title is heading one, and from there you insert page break once the chapter ends. And you can see that I have done that for uh, all of it. If you have any links here, then you can, you know, hyperlink it, right? So basically you can cover a text, right click it, and then insert link and insert the link. So you can do that. All right. So if you have any pictures, you can add the picture uh, directly. But once you're done, what you want to do is go to file, go to download and download as Microsoft Word docx file. So the next thing you want to do is go to Reezy and sign up. So you want to create your account. 
So when you enter your information here, click on sign up, it'll basically take you to these two options. I've already signed up, so I can't really show you. So I'm just going to show you a Google image. So there is a professional and there is the author. You want to make sure you click on author and click on continue. So once you log in go to my books on the left, okay, and click on add new title, you can import right here. So the book title for me will be how to become a digital nomad. And then you want to upload the docx file right here. So now that you imported the files, you can see that it's showing up here. Ignore the one in the bottom because this is the same book that I uploaded uh, previously. So that's why there's two, but you should only have one. So the next thing you want to do is to add your subtitle, author name, those kind of information. So before you start writing or click on right here, go to manage and click on the book setting on the left hand. And then from here, you can click on the subtitle. So enter your subtitle. You can even enter your description, uh, upload the cover if you have that. But what's important is you just add your subtitle right here. So now there's a title and the subtitle. Click on save and then you can go back. So from here, click on write and it'll look like this. It automatically creates a chapter one, but we already have a chapter one uh, and the entire book written already. So you don't really need this chapter. So what you want to do is click on the right hand side, delete chapter. Okay, so that'll delete it. And from here, it'll start from your uh, book. So it'll look like this. Make sure everything looks good. Check out all the chapters. Make sure that it's formatted properly. It should be if you have formatted properly on Google Docs side. Okay, so the last thing you want to do here is to add the table of contents and the copyright. So if you come up here, it'll generate a copyright for you. So just put your information, which is your pen name, the year of publications, you know, the edition, uh, any other information that you want to add. And then you can choose what kind of clauses that you want as well. And that's pretty much it for the copyright. You don't have to do anything else. The next is the table of contents. You can choose how much of the headings that you want to show. So basically, uh, if you just do the chapter title, it'll look like this, as you can see. If you click on heading one option, this is exactly why we formatted our chapter title as heading one. If you do so, then it'll pull all the heading one headings and heading two will be more. Heading three will be more than that. So this is completely personal preference. So pick whatever you want and you're pretty much done. So the last thing you want to do here is click on the right hand side on export book. And from here you can download the book. There are a few more options such as high chapter numbers, drop caps, small caps. Once again, uh, personal preference, I usually keep it at drop caps. And from here, you can download the ebook version with EPUB and Mobi and the paperback version with print on demand PDF. So let's start with the ebook version. Once again, there are some more options here in terms of, you know, the positioning uh, of the EndNote as well as the template. I usually like the classic. I think it looks good, but you have a few options here. OK, so I'll choose the classic and I'll click on export book. You have to wait a few minutes here. So while we're waiting, we're going to go back and click on print on demand PDFs to download the paperback version. And now we have the option in terms of trim size. So once again, this is your preference, but your trim size of this interior must match the trim size or the cover size that you have. So if your book cover is designed for five by eight, then your trim size must be five by eight as well. So just make sure of that. So since my cover is designed for five by eight, I will select five by it here. Once again, keep it a classic uh, crimson, you know, look and click on export book. All right. So it looks like the files are ready. So just click on download. All right. So you'll get a zip file like this. So just open the zip file. So for the paperback version, you'll notice you have two different uh, files. One is the standard print ready and another one is the standard. I'm not quite sure what the difference is, but to be honest, the print ready one is the only one that we need. Uh, and that'll be the one that we'll be uploading to KDP. So this is how it will look. Uh, you can go and read through it. It is a pretty good, simple formatting, but I think it looks pretty nice. So if you want to make any changes then just go back to Reezy or Google Doc and then re-upload it once again after you make the change. But this is how it'll look in terms of the end product. Same as the ebook version, you will get the EPUB and the Mobi file. You only need the EPUB file. You don't really need the Mobi file. So the EPUB will be the file that you'll be uploading it as an ebook on Amazon KDP.
Once again, if you want to preview the file before you upload, you can just open it and take a look inside. So that was the completely free way to format your book on Reezy. But let's say that, you know, for whatever reason, that's not working for you or you don't even want to bother uh, formatting yourself. Then there is some outsourcing options. Uh, the best way is to go on Fiverr and just, you know, find somebody that can uh, do a good job formatting. So I just found a gig has really, really good rating. It's five star average with 2,373 orders. It gets a lot of repeat buyers. So that is how we know that it's a good gig. And you can see their samples in terms of how they're formatting their uh, interior. But in terms of the cost, it's really only $20 to get a formatting done up to 100 pages. So if you guys just want to outsource the task and have somebody else, you know, do the formatting, then I'll leave a link to this gig in the video description below. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, leave a like, uh, comment any questions you have, as well as if you want to check out the free training once again on how I built a multiple six figure KDP business, then the link is in the description, as well as all the tools and resources that I recommend also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.